Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick and short video for you guys and it is how to tape the top part of your gloves. I know this looks really bad. So let's get started. So what you're going to need is your gloves. You're going to need some scissors. Um, you're going to need the actual tape. So I use this. It's called zinc oxide strapping, which I don't think is supposed to be. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to be using exactly. I'm sure there's like other types of tape, but this is like, it works for me. So that's what I'm going to be using. It looks like this and you know what? It's really just fine. So I'm gonna keep on using it. So the first thing you have to do is if you already have tape on your gloves, first of all, take it off. And I am in the middle of doing that. So the way I do it is I take the scissors and I try to cut it off here. Right? And then I try to take it off with my fingers. So first of all, get the tape off of your gloves. Step one. you have taken the, the tape off of your clubs um, you can also have tape here I've had this tape forever and I haven't taken it off um, ever since I put it on because you know what like it doesn't really bother me however over here is gonna be very very sticky um, if you don't have this particular tape that I showed you you can use like clusters and that can also work which are obviously gonna need some good ones like the way I can only describe it is basically the same thing as this. It's like the fabric is like very similar to this one, except they're plasters. Um, those are like the good ones that I use all the time. So if you don't have um, this, use very good plasters. So now what do I do with this? I'm going to now go to the bathroom and I'm gonna scrub and wash this with oil, like baby oil. I, I guess you can use like other oils that you have. I like use like an old cloth um, that you know you don't mind ruining and you know what let's head over to the bathroom and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be doing. So what you're going to do is go over to the sink get your baby oil you're going to get just put some in your hand and go over the top of the uh, sticky part of the club now. So this is only if like you're taking it off. I've struggled so much with taking the tape off. Oh my gosh. Um, I also have a tip while we're here. Um, if you struggle taking off the rubber part of your ribbon, um, like taking it off, taking it off and putting it back on, I would recommend getting this particular cloth. <laughs> It's taken the shape of this like ether here. This kind of cloth. Um, because it has a good grip on the like rubber part. I don't know why. I just like tried it. You can use like other pieces of cloth, but um, this like particular one really works for me. So if you ever struggle taking on and off your ribbon, the end part of like the ribbon, the rubber one, the rubber part, give that a go. For me, this is to make it less sticky. You can go over it with some water as you want. And you can maybe like scrub over like with your nails. <laughs> That's what I do sometimes. So what you can do next is get a cloth like this or any other cloth and try and scrub the part of your gloves. And just turn and squeeze and just Try your best to take that off. I'm trying my best to like get the stickiness off of it. And like if you can see that is already 
so much better than what it was if we had to compare. So I'm gonna keep on doing that until stickiness comes off. So I would normally stop around here, the clubs are still a little bit, let's say, kind of sticky, but so much better and cleaner than it was before. I mean, anyways, we're gonna put tape back on it, so <laughs> if I were to compare, I think it's so much better. <laughs> To give an example, you can use a cloth like this, it's actually just like a face towel um, that you don't really like mind ruining, so if you don't have like particularly this one, then you can use this one. Um, now that I'm done with the clubs, um, I will dry them, so just dry your clubs one last time, especially at the very top, since that's what we'll be working on, and let's move on to the taping part of the gloves. So now let's start taping the gloves. Take your fabric tape or your plasters. If you're going to take the plasters, then you're going to need three. If you're going to be using the plasters, then I will try my best to explain because I didn't show in this video using plasters because I didn't have those particular ones. Now you're going to cut a piece of the tape, measuring roughly how much you will need, and then you're going to cut that piece of tape into two in the middle. Now you're going to take that piece of tape and put it over the round part of your club, of course, because that's the part we're taping. Now you're going to press the tape into the club and also you're going to push down those extra little open bits right here at the top and push them into the club as well. So this is what it should look like when you put the first layer of tape. Now putting the second one over the other tape, you're going to put it over where there's still the opening left, where you can still see the clubs, and do the same thing. And this is what it should look like when it's done. Here is an easier way that I could have cut the tape in the first place, so if you're struggling like me, then maybe this could be easier. So of course now you have to do the second club and repeat exactly the same things. If you have a bit of pieces sticking out, you can just go over it with some scissors, cutting those off. This is what they look when they're finished. Now, if you're going to be using the plasters, first I would suggest taping around the neck of the club, the very top, right below where there's the ball of the club, and put some plasters right around there, one. And then do the same thing how I showed you in this video, putting it over the ball of the club. This is the final result of my club. So as you can see, one came out longer than the other because I didn't measure the tape correctly at first and I wanted it longer actually. But everyone has their own preference, so you can either have it shorter or longer. Um, 
yeah, but I honestly don't care because these are probably gonna get ruined within like a week or two uh, of using them outside, most probably anyway. So hopefully this video helped you and uh, you learned how to tape your own gloves. And yeah, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!